let me show you guys how I make this amazing juicy nice dinner of dumplings and beef stew I'm going to show you step by step what I do what I mix let's go so I will brown my meat of choice in this case it's a beef meat so I'm making beef stew I'll brown my beef enough before I start adding any other contents to it so now that I've browned it enough as you can see it started steaming and it's all brown enough I didn't add any oil I'm gonna add my boiling water hot water so you add enough to cover the meat just make sure that it is nicely covered because you're gonna let this simmer for a while about 30 minutes to 45 minutes or an hour depending on the meat of choice that you're cooking so I'm gonna close this and come back to it when it has been steaming for a while and you feel that it's soft enough you can add your veggies of choice in my case I've added some chopped potatoes carrots and um, celery and I'm gonna add some onions to this so that it can all simmer and all the flavors from the veggies can just be absorbed in the meat as well and I'm gonna close this and come back to it lowering my heat so that it doesn't over boil because I'm gonna cover this and the pot is quite loaded I'm just adding a spoon of cooking oil and I'm gonna add some salt this is just regular salt in there a spoon of salt season it with some more things so I'm adding thyme now just two sprigs of thyme then I am gonna add some tomato paste a spoon of it because I don't want it to overpower the stew just make sure that that's dissolved in there After that, I am adding my no um, beef stock, which has less salt, as I was trying to show you. This is a traditional um, choice. Everyone who is an African from an African family knows all those stock tubes and how they've made our family stews taste very hearty and lovely so I'm adding that and what is my most favorite thing is this mother um, in mas mother of masala sorry so I always add that to my stews because it just brings out this wonderful flavor to them I'm adding some ginger just a teaspoon of ginger for that aroma and mixed herbs and after that this is the rosemary and garlic spice from Robertson's so I add um, a teaspoon not much then when everything is dissolved I am just gonna give it a bit of time close the lid come back to it later once everything has simmered down I come back and I check on everything and I am happy with how it is looking so now I'll just give it a stir and then what we're gonna do now is bring in some flavor into this so I add the gravy powder uh, from O Bistro I mix that in a little bit of water because this my, my pot is already filled to the brim almost so I'll mix that in a little bit of water then add 
add all of that to my stew. I'm just going to find something to stir this with. So that will go into the pot. thereafter this is a secret ingredient guys so just look it is the most amazing thing on a stew so if you have never tried it try it so you add half a can of coconut milk if you don't like coconut milk you can add cream into your stew don't worry about it curdling into um, your stew you when you stir it up enough it should dissolve and mix nicely with the contents in your stew so i'm just going to mix this up a bit before i add it to my stew because it curdled a bit because it's a cream so i'm trying to get it nicely dissolved and evenly um, in, into an even thickness before I add half of the coconut milk into my pot. So I will give this a stir, just making sure all the curdles are not showing and are properly dissolved into the stew. And I am happy with the consistency. Now at this point, both the meat and the veggies are about 70% cooked, about 60%, let me not exaggerate, they are about 60% cooked and we are just going to close the pot for a while, let this bubble up a little bit. starts bubbling I bring in my dough this is homemade dough made with just um, cake flour sugar salt and yeast and just some warm water so I let this sit for a bit before I molded it into these nice round balls to Put in the pot so these are let steam for about say 30 40 minutes and I'm gonna check on them continuously because I need to bring the heat down and I need to let these steam in the pot and cook nicely and evenly so I'm just making sure that they don't stick together so I'm just shaping them nicely and then putting them on top of the stew and then I am gonna close the lid and come back to it so now that my pot has been steaming for about 30 40 minutes and I'm happy with how my dumplings look I'm gonna take them out and just check that the stew is still a nice even consistency so I'll stir that checking that nothing has burnt underneath
I'm taking the sprigs from the thyme because the leaves have dissolved into the stew and I am happy with how everything has turned out so there were just two sprigs so I'm just taking the stems of the sprigs of thyme and we are almost ready to serve I've cut some of my dumpling and this is the end result of it so if you like you can add the veggie of your choice I've decided at the end to just sprinkle a bit of basil just for that aroma and as a garnish so this is how you make stew and dumplings on a Sunday keep you nice and warm on cold days like this.